September, and it's about to get a lot colder, so we're going to balance out those Here temperatures a little bit. Yeah. Here it is. This evening, though, it's still up around 50 degrees. Uh, winds have started to diminish a little bit. We've got a few clouds out there, so it's okay for being and working outside. Randy Factor gets a 6. Tomorrow, a wind advisory for northeast Nebraska. I personally, I'm a little surprised the Weather Service hasn't expanded that over more of eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. It's going to be windy for many locations tomorrow, particularly the afternoon, so we'll see. But a very windy Wednesday in the forecast. Sprinkles on Super Doppler 7 radar that are not reaching the ground to the south of us. So far today, 53 has been our high temperature and our low temperature was 44. These are considerably above the average temperatures for this date, but as I mentioned, colder temperatures are in the forecast for most of the rest of the week. No moisture today, but yesterday 1.1. Now this month, 3.63, the seventh wettest November in recorded history in Omaha, and we're only halfway through the month. There's the sun filtered through some clouds over Cobalt Credit Union, the camera there. Out uh, in Papillion, Sarpy County, 51, 14 mile per hour breeze. Now dew point 27, that's dry air. So temperatures around 50, the breeze out of the northwest at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the radar is showing rain and it's there, but it's drying up before it reaches the ground. If you're down south in, say, Nebraska City or Red Oak or Shenandoah, you can probably see those streaks. We call that Virga coming out of the clouds and evaporating before reaching the ground. Big area low pressure up to the north in southern Canada. Piece of energy kind of zipping eastward across Kansas. And the two will eventually join forces over the Great Lakes. So for us, no rain, no snow. Breeze out of the northwest tomorrow morning. A little bit of snow in the Dakotas and Minnesota. Some flurries into northern Iowa, but pretty strong northwest winds tomorrow and for tomorrow night. And still pretty breezy on into Thursday. And as that front moves through, even colder temperatures. So chilly weather on the way as we head into Thursday. Snow, Chicago, South Bend, Indiana, but not here. Skies, which are currently mostly cloudy, become partly cloudy later tonight. 33 for the low. A breezy, chilly day in the morning. Very windy at midday. Gusts to 40 miles an hour. Gusts over 40 miles an hour in the afternoon. Hence the impact icon on our three-day forecast. Look at the lows, 27 and 25 on Thursday morning, Friday morning, and 27 for the low on Saturday morning. That is a, a big change from where we've been. The lowest we've been so far this whole fall is 30 degrees at Omaha's Epley Airfield, and that was back in October. We haven't been to freezing in the month of November, so this is a big change. We'll make up for it this week. It looks like we will. <laughs> Thank you.